Home is an unprepossessing place. It's easy to miss it, and in fact, many do. It isn't their fault. The planners have sent State Highway 1 around south of us, hugging the edges of the Waikato River. As heading south, it slowly widens out into Lake Karapiro. People who live there are quietly proud of this lake. It's full of weed, it smells to swim in, but it is flat and makes for world-class rowing. Below the surface where the lake meets the water ski club grounds lie the remains of warriors slain at the mighty battle of Tomatawiwi 1830. My home has seen even greater tumult, a deeper magic. Its foundations were laid down in the activity of a trinity of volcanoes. Lava flows and subsequent erosion have created high ridged battlements above a maze of plunging valleys. Road cyclists sweat their way silently through here in the weekends. Hinawera rock lies half exposed in places like the bleaching bones of a desert corpse showing through parchment thin skin. But these Ezekiel bones of my bones still breathe. The old folds, rifts, cliffs and uplifts whisper their story to whomever will listen. Covered now not with a warm blanket woven from Tani's children, but a threadbare cotton sheet of grazing grass, these hills rise above swampland drained only in the last hundred years of progress. These hills have watched dams built and fences thrown up, first between Te Rohoi and British garrisons, then between neighbours and their flocks. Whitehall wool. In the 60s it was worth a pound per pound, but then the bottom fell out. Kiwi fruit offers a verdant patch on the cotton paddocks, though in the winter the vines are leafless, starched and scratchy. Dry stock nuzzle the thin topsoil and pug the heavy clay. Trucks dig deep into the hill's sides and remove gravel for new roads. My own house was built for farm workers in 1950. He the fifth family generation now giggles and fights its way through the corridors and shouts to hear ec echoes awake in the hallways of Whitehall Hills. We have another piece of land beyond the state highway, near the lake. We make plans to build something new down on the plains. It's sensible, flat and accommodating, as welcome as a blank canvas. Lying beyond the tar-sealed snake, out of the heaving bosom of this mother, it is exile.